Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Upswing Report. Today's video is all about the man bun. I'll be talking about the background of the man bun, the pros and cons, how to wear and maintain one, and finally, I'll be giving you some different styles of buns that you can rock. So let's get into it. Despite what you may have heard or believed, no, the man bun was not invented in 2008 by a hipster web designer and barista. The hairstyle's actually been around for thousands and thousands of years. From the terracotta army, to sumo wrestlers, to Japanese samurais, to the Eastern European barbarians that fought against the Romans, the man bun has been around for a minute. But in modern day men's fashion, it's been brought back into popularity from people such as David Beckham in the late 90s, to Jared Leto and Leonardo DiCaprio, and even Jon Snow, the king of the north. But there are definitely some pros and some cons to wearing the man bun. And I will start with the pros. One pro, in my opinion, is it emulates a sort of independence. I think it kind of says to the rest of the world, hey look, I have long hair, I'm not gonna be clean cut and be put in a box like you want me to. And I think that's a big pro because it tells other people that you have your own direction and you have your own thought process. The second pro is that wearing a man bun is actually really easy to maintain. And I'll explain a little bit later in the video how I do this. All right, some of the cons of wearing a man bun are the first one, it's kind of become a notorious hairstyle. It's almost like a meme. And with that, there's some connotations that people might associate you with, like you're a hipster or you're a pothead or you're some sort of like an artist. Some of those things aren't necessarily the worst in the world, but people tend to put you in a box when you have long hair. The second con is it takes a long time to grow your hair out. Now, if you are looking to get into the long hair game, I made a video on how to grow your hair faster, so go ahead and check it out right here. So if you're looking to just try out the man bun, it's not really something that you can try out overnight, and even if you do have it and you decide to cut it and you want to grow it back, it just takes a long time. So if you looked at these pros and cons and you still realize that you want to rock a man bun, now let me tell you how to do so. Now the first thing that you gotta do if you wanna wear a man bun is to grow your hair out. Now if you wanna make that process go a lot quicker, watch that video that I recommended earlier and let your hair be a flowing. Now the second thing that you gotta do is have some good product for your hair. My top two products that I use are a mousse and a leave-in conditioner. And the reason why I use that for my hair is my hair, it's not super thin and it's not super thick. It's kind of a little bit more towards the thick side but it kind of can get a little bit crazy, especially in the summer when there's humidity out. By applying these products in my hair, it kind of eliminates some of the frizziness and can keep it under control. And it's super easy to do this. All I do is when I jump out of the shower, I put a towel around my hair, I let it dry off a little bit, and then when it's still damp, I put a little bit of product in my hair and then I'll just let it air dry. And that's actually keeping your hair a lot healthier because if you use a straightener or a blow dryer, it can start to cause your hair to become split a little bit more, which will naturally happen either way, but it's gonna kind of damage your hair if you're applying heat on your hair every single day. Other products to make your man bun exquisite include jojoba oil, some Moroccan oil, a matte clay, and a sea salt spray. Now, depending on your situation and your hair type, you might have to try a couple different products to see what works best for you. But what I'm gonna do is I will link below in, in the description some of the products that I mentioned, and you can go ahead and experiment and see which products work best for you. All right, and the last part of this video is I wanna give you some man bun inspiration. There are four main types of man buns. The first one is the one I'm currently rocking, which is the full bun. The full bun is probably the most popular. You don't want it too low, you don't want it too high, but you just kind of have it sitting kind of on the crown, the back crown of your head. That's just the most popular man bun style there is. The second style, which has a bunch of different variations, is the top knot. I do like wearing the top knot because as I said before, I let my hair air dry quite a bit. So by having a lot of the hair down by my shoulders, it allows for it to dry a lot easier and not to be all stuffed into a bun that might be wet towards the mid or end of the day. The third style and one that I'm starting to experiment more with is the low bun. That's taking your bun and putting it more towards the bottom part of your head and just gives a different vibe. I think it's really sleek, very European looking, and I think it's something that you should try out if you wanna rock the man bun. The fourth and last style is if you have dreads or braids, and that is the Afro hair bun. Now, I don't have dreads and I normally don't braid my hair, but I think this style 
looks very awesome. Basically, all you have to do is have dreads or braids, throw it up in a bun any kind of which way, and that creates a volume that really you can't achieve in any other way. And I think that this is a variation of the man bun that is just outstanding. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be a part of Upswing Nation. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're thinking about doing a man bun or if you have any questions related to one, please leave it in the comments below and I'll get to every single question. All right, thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.